Good day everyone and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future trading. Uh, today, because the feds and uh, all this uh, uh, news coming out today on the other channel, uh, we live, we have said uh, to stop auto trading and start around one o'clock after the news. So if you look at the those auto trades, they were started at one o'clock and uh, some of them, they still in a trade and uh, uh, we still have a lot non-stop. Uh, the auto trades are taken from YM to ES to NASDAQ. We still have a lot of uh, trades out and um, we still have a lot of trades as you notice here from the controller we still have a lot of opening position i'm not gonna go through uh, through all those uh, trades but um, uh, this is the difference between when you when there is a major news and um uh, you should not be trading until the news is out and then it pays off once the market settled then you unleash your auto trade because now the market has been eased out after the news so uh, as we see uh, we still have the es on one minute on the last trade uh, made eight thousand which uh, we started the auto trade at one o'clock and there is a trade here, the previous trade, and then this, the trade, whatever that trade made, plus the 7,000 uh, on that. Uh, on the, the NASDAQ, on the last trade, uh, we started at one o'clock. All of them started at one o'clock after the news, 7,400. Uh, the DAX, 4,000. Uh, the 30 year treasury bond, 1,600. And the NASDAQ, uh, the ES, I'm sorry, 4,700. Uh, the YM, one minute, 3,500. And uh, the NASDAQ, four minutes, 5,000. And the ES, uh, 4,300. And the CL, those are the last trade, 1,800. And uh, uh, the 4,000. On the ES, <coughs> some of them they already hit immediately. When we started, uh, if you notice here, when we started at one o'clock, and uh, on the YM uh, did three thousand, on the Nasdaq uh, did uh, three thousand, uh, five thousand on the ES uh, for eight range, and the ES. A six range 4,000 and this is a beautiful uh, it's actually one of my favorite today it did very well and uh, and that was just an hour and 20 minutes into the trade and this is very good and then uh, we have uh, the ES on the nine range did 3,000 it was only 36 minutes in the trade that's all what we need and then uh, 1200 on the es not much uh, 1600 on the es 10 range and then uh, we have the 600 takes 2700 and then we have the es 300 takes 20, uh, 2200 and um, 2000 on the nasdaq and then on the 10 range ym 2100 and then and those the reason they are a small amount because they were done in like 30 minutes uh, after one o'clock when the news finished and it came out with the feds everything is okay and then the market took a dive and then it started going up again anyway this that's what happened on the 12 range and then uh, on the YM 100 takes 1790. This is a very interesting. Um, uh, I wanna 
uh, for the ones are uh, using I want to show today some of the trade coming from uh, the market analyzer and um, this one here also uh, does not require any optimization uh, this is your entry and your trailing stop uh, coming from the fib line and then uh, this one here is, is exactly like the market analyzer and um, the market analyzer is based on one contract and uh, you can put two contract four six eight whatever you want on the auto trade so if we look on the es uh, let me bring one more if we take uh, the uh, es or a ym uh, the YM uh, has 665, and this is exactly the same number uh, as the market analyzer is just taking the signal. And this is not the whole day, it's the last entry. And then if you we notice here on the ES, because we have two contract, uh, the market uh, analyzer is based on one contract. So it's double the amount and here it is double the amount now it is take one contract out from the fib line so now it is exactly as the market analyzer on the market analyzer there is no uh, such a optimization tweaking you can turn on uh, the 15 second or the one minute or the 30 second if you want or the two minutes and you can feed the auto trade to take the signal uh, from uh, the the um, the market as as an example right now the six e, the six b took a new signal as you see here, and this is where uh, your auto trade can be activated. Also, you have an option uh, how you want it to be activated on the bar close or on the uh, market price or so there is also an option for you if you wanted to take it the signal from the bar close or as is when the signal come in plus there is a pullback re-entry from the fib lines so this is a really uh, also also the, the 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 luxury with it you are in control with the stop loss or if you want to go back or if you wanted to take over with your trade you can do that uh, also, I want to show which has become very popular among the younger, the newer traders uh, coming in. Uh, this is um, another one is taken from the fib line, and um, and uh, it is uh, it's become a very popular uh, for beginners because it's easy to control and. Um, and then what it does it uh, do the average price and then based on uh, one contract and then <clears throat> it's a very friendly use easy to handle and what it does uh, collective with the uh, with the, the the average price as an example when the market goes to your direction is going to take one trade and uh, when this one here closed on the support area and then reactivated from the support area if the market goes against you then what it does it get filled on the second line support and then immediately rechange the target and try to exit out of that trade immediately the principle beside that is when you take a trade and you are in trouble stand using a stop loss of course you can use a stop loss the number of trades that the trading stop you can do we are using the latest technology always but if you get in in trouble there is a good option you can average the price and exit immediately the auto trade can uh, figure out a way uh, to um, uh, recalculate your target and with your average price and sure it out and get out of trouble 
you can fear it as an example up to four contracts three contracts two or one in, in this matter or 10 or 20 if you want to use a micro account so uh, uh, this is, is become uh, very popular among the new beginners uh, there is also I mean there is so many there is around 20 different auto trade we cannot cover but also for the ones have the edge uh, and uh, they want the auto trade to take the trade and the trade between fibs uh, this is also is a is a pleasant to if you notice when we started it was two contract on the es and it came into the fib level and took one out and you still have one to go and it is an option for that trader if he wants to he can in increase it or he can use a trade and stop or and is already the auto trade calculating the target the target is not a fixed target like uh, those old conventional auto trade out of date like you know you put your target 60 ticks what make you so sure the tomorrow it will be 60 ticks or 50 ticks or 20 ticks this prefix things does not work because you cannot adjust the market to your auto trade you need to adjust your auto trade to the market and this is uh, one of the wrongdoing uh, when people think like the first target is 10 or 20 or 30 ticks in this matter and then the second target is 40 or 50 really how would you know this market is moving tomorrow how would you know this market is not sideways how would you know this market tomorrow is going to climb the es 60 and 80 ticks how would you know that so on on that uh, perspective here there is no fixed target for every trade is a different target it's the calculation between where you are in the market and i don't want to go through details so every contract or every uh, entry on the auto trade has a different target takes it depends on the market movement the same story with this one here it's not every uh, trade is going to be fixed contract it is the principle average price exit immediately recalculate in 2023 we cannot just use uh, just a normal average uh, moving average with an ATR or a MACD and then you think you're gonna uh, compete with some other people using the latest technology or the latest algorithm or advanced algorithm or advanced uh, knowledge uh, life is not as simple as when it was in the early 80s now we are in 2023 and you need to start upgrading yourself to the 2023 we're not living in the 80s anymore or the 90s so the the, the algorithm you have to think about it whatever you're using you should not concentrate on your uh, just what you're looking at you have to think also what the other person what he's using how much more advanced than you are and how harder is going to be for you to beat the guy is an advanced person than you are using latest technology knowledge education those guys you have no chance with them by just turning on the auto trade and treat it like a dishwasher machine this is reality so the the auto trading on ninja trader the algorithm uh, the math is become we hardly can keep up with updates our clients they get around 30 to 35 updates a year and, and this is not easy to keep up with the market the things is building an auto trade and updating your auto trade to the market and the algorithm latest technology it is crucial to your daily life folks that's all what we have for you today we wish you really a pleasant evening and we say please be safe and god bless everyone thank you bye